five-year marriage ended today. I met my wife through an online game in 2014 and we hit it off immediately. We were the same age, had similar interests in film and music, similar outlooks on politics religion etc etc I felt like I had finally met the one. After some time of online dating, she made the move to where I lived and we began building a life together. She enrolled in nursing school and the relationship was everything I wanted. As months passed she seemed more and more agitated by my presence. She would close the bedroom door and game with some friend she had online from before we met. We had s time less. I put it down to her extreme schedule with school, clinicals, and her other extracurricular activities. We fought over the mildest, most pointless topics. Eventually she graduated and got a job and began working night shifts. Things got worse as she slept all day and stayed up all night gaming. I knew things were wrong, but I tried to be supportive as I knew how hard she worked and what nurses go through. One day after she left I noticed her computer was unlocked and Discord was open. I felt ashamed but I gave in and browsed through her chat logs with her friends. One in particular was massive with messages going back almost daily to just a few months after she had arrived in my hometown. Constant calls, and plenty of s time wall content naturally. Pictures sent back and forth, etc etc. I confronted her, and demanded to understand why she had betrayed me so, when I had supported her and her son for three years while she got a nursing degree. The blame was immediately passed to me of course because I wasn't attentive enough and she was lonely. Foolishly I admitted that I had not been a 100% perfect husband I do, indeed, play video games too much and I forgave her. We hugged it out and things improved for a time. In the midst of this I had taken a new job in a metro area with a big pay raise and we were excited to have just purchased a home. Again, foolishly. I thought this would be a fresh start for us, we could repair the hurt and have a better relationship. The perfect marriage, things were fine, for a time, in the new city. She didn't have a job yet and so busied herself with exercise to work off that college weight. I worked, and then worked on the home, decorating and doing yard work to build that perfect home we deserve. She got a job close by, with better hours than she had before, and better money. Things seemed great. Three months ago she had to work out of town at another location for three days. It seemed bizarre to me but she said it was overtime and we can always use more money so hey why not. She packed up her bags and took off. She returned, barely spoke to me unloaded her bags filled with two wine bottles, strangely, and went to bed. In the days to come any question about the nature of the trip was deflected with vague answers. I felt uncomfortable with the whole thing but I had last week she took a trip to visit her old friend in my hometown she graduated with. Again, this seemed bizarre and spur of the moment but okay. I visit old friends too. She returned and again deflected any and all questions about the nature of the trip with vague responses. I checked the bank account we share and no gas was ever purchased. Given the length of the trip that is impossible, so I knew immediately she paid cash or used another card so I couldn't see the location of the purchase. I also checked our phone logs and she hasn't spoken to or texted her friend for months. This morning when she went for a jog I went through her bag. I am ashamed to have invaded her privacy once again but given what I found I suppose I'm glad I did. I found a note written and signed by the person she had previously been communicating with. Love you always xoxo etc etc they clearly met in person at least once. I'm sure multiple. I confronted her again and she again says she isn't happy and that's why she did it.
met another man and ducked him in a hotel after lying to me and going to the trouble to pack her nursing uniform to make it look like she was on a work trip. Apparently I'm a poor husband and she doesn't like my lack of a relationship with her son, we don't do anything together and so on. I am by no means perfect and I have faults like anyone but I didn't deserve this. I have loved and provided for her, helped her go to school, provided for her son, and my thanks is to be cheated on, over and over, I'm done. I've struggled with it all day today but as I sit typing this out I can say that I have nothing left in me to give to this relationship anymore. I care about her but I do not believe she is capable of being happy. There are aspects of her behavior and personality that point to narcissism and just a general lack of empathy toward the feelings of others, and I am not an exception. She does not love me, and likely never has experienced in my entire 36 years of life, more alone than when my mother called me and told me my father had passed away. I know no one in this city, and I work remotely so I do not even have the normalcy of an office setting to take my mind off things. My family is exceedingly religious and our impending divorce will be a scandal that will further ostracize me from them, but these things will pass. I have not forgotten my father, or his words to me. I have value as a person, I have worth. I love and I am loved. The game will not set the tone for the rest of my life. I have given 100% of myself to this relationship, and 100% was not returned. So be it. Thank you for listening. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, I'm sorry that you had to go through this. It indeed sounds like you gave it your all, and received in return something worse than zero. Judging by the obscene amount of cheating victims here, I'm going to estimate that 3 out of 4 people on the street are actually suffering from one or more of the cluster B personality disorders. I swear to God, some days the pain here is even a bit rich for my blood. Stay strong and keep your head up op. She is the F cup 1, Redditor 2, for someone who complains about you never spending time together. She's sure willing to put in a huge effort to spend time with other people. Yes, you may have been a lousy partner, but that should be addressed by talking with you, not ducking around with other people. Unless you think that was even a factor, you can be sure such bullshit was going on even before she moved in with you. She feels no remorse for what she's done and if you give her yet another chance, I 100% guarantee she will do it again. In her mind, the only important thing is that she gets what she wants, and therefore, you can never trust her to be honest or faithful. Redditor 3, I went through the same thing about 8 or so years ago. You're not a poor husband, a poor father figure, nor a poor person. 20 years together it took a long time to realize that what I had was not a full and true relationship. Don't beat yourself up too much because at the end of the day, you're you. It's going to be a rough go for a while and you have to figure out who you are again. It's hard but you have to realize that's a positive thing, you get it a second chance to be you. Not trying to fit into an unfair relationship, unfair because if your partner isn't happy then it's not a full relationship. Yes it sucks. Betrayal sucks. Being alone and hurt and starting over sucks. I think the biggest advice I can give is that when your friends invite you out, go. Being the third wheel sucks too. Don't get me started about online dating. When you want to be alone, be alone. Read self-help books, don't always ask people going through the same thing for advice because so many people haven't taken the time to heal. When you find yourself again you'll be amazed at how strong and happy you are. And when you get into a new relationship, remember you shouldn't have to work at it, both sides should just flow together. It'll just fit. That doesn't mean you don't try but that's a lot different than working at everything. 
kind of long. But it's my first real post. I've had so many people ask me about this and some listen and some don't. You're allowed to feel anything you feel, but how you deal with those feelings is up to you. Be strong, be open and honest, and be true to yourself. I don't know how to do a PM, but send me a note if you want to talk or ask questions. I've been up. I've been down. Life's taking me every which way. But I can look at myself in the mirror every day. Good luck and be happy. Redditor 4, she is cold because if she was ever emotionally attached to the marriage she has detached long ago. You need to put yourself first because she is now your adversary. Move to action quickly to protect your assets and get an attorney. Make sure she does not clean you out. She has been using you for what you could provide, so don't expect her to play nice now that she has been exposed. The only reason she may change her tune is if she realizes that she is not yet financially ready to leave you. I have been right where you are and I am sorry that you are going through this. With time you will be okay.